All right. So Blake vs Mikasa. As you might know if you saw my Heihachi vs Geese review, I couldn't give a shit less about this matchup. I never had high hopes for this matchup and the preview didn't have me excited either. In fact, it had me worried. I thought that Heihachi vs Geese might have been just a lucky episode. I was pleasantly surprised. So let's get into my review. You know the drill. I'll go over the positives, then the negatives and then the conclusion and next time. Let's rock. Gotcha this time. To start off, I really like the models. Blake is practically perfect and Mikasa is amazing too. They both visibly have all of the gear instead of them just randomly pulling them out of nowhere. Mikasa especially. She has the swords, ODM, thunder spears and more. It's really great. Also, the voice acting is great. Blake was obviously reprised but I have to give some credit to Mikasa's. It was gonna be hard to combat Blake's voice considering it was the actual voice actor but I feel like they did it well. It was a great performance by both and helped the animation greatly. And before I even try to talk about the animation, I have to just start ranting about the music. Thunder Shroud is something I waited until midnight on Sunday to listen to. After hearing it in the preview, I was so excited to hear it on its own. I sat there waiting, I refreshed my phone, at midnight, and there it was. Let it be known that I'm not only exaggerating because I'm trying to be entertaining, but I genuinely can't praise this further. I've since dubbed this on Discord as not only my favorite track of the season, but of the entire show. This is an absolute banger and I cannot go a day without listening to it. Let's list off all the things that I absolutely fucking love. Number 1. The lyrics by Brandon and the other person, who I'm going to respectfully not even try to pronounce do fantastic. They fit so well and are actually creative. They don't repeat unless it's the chorus, they sound awesome and they're just a joy to hear. Number 2. The melody. I absolutely love the sound of this track. It fits, both of them ridiculously well and really focuses on the heavy rock that both series are widely known for. It's awesome. Number 3. The pace. The pace of this track keeps me excited and makes me feel like I'm at the final boss in a video game. It's chilling and I love it. Number 4. The battle. It fits really well with the fight and I cannot stop praising it. Oh no. I can't stop praising. Well, this is a predicament. Anyway, with all this in mind, I want you to guess how many times I have listened to this from the time the song was released to YouTube to when the Rooster Teeth episode was released. Pause the video now and type in your guess. Did you pause? If you didn't, then you should be ashamed. How dare you not pause a video you're enjoying? If you did and you guessed 57 or close to that, then good job. Also, once I do the lyrical ranking video, which will happen after season 8, expect this at the top. Alright, I'm sick of praising this. What else to mention? Oh yeah, the animation. I was gonna do that, wasn't I? Then I started the rant. Anyway, there's some good moments here. I liked when Blake got her arm cut off. It felt decently impactful and Blake didn't pull a Sanji and actually reacted to it. And I did actually like the death. Blake pulling an Uno reverse and throwing it in Mikasa's chest was pretty cool. And I loved when Mikasa turned into Fire Lord Ozai and exploded. That was cool. Oh, and the shot of the Titan Shadow was frickin' epic. Loved that. And the conclusion was relatively decent. Both that and the analysis covered what they needed to. Alright, I have to go to hating on this now because I'm genuinely struggling to praise it more. Alright so this is Future Illusion here to tell you that I completely disagree from what I said about Mikasa's model. I can't believe how much it looks like a Ruby character and some of the moments look too hilarious for me to just ignore. Seriously, it's kind of bad. Okay, on to the negatives. The analysis isn't very entertaining. Blake's felt super short and Mikasa's didn't have a single good joke in it. It was a lot more in depth though but that's kind of a problem to me here. Blake gets literally no spotlight in the entire episode and that's annoying. I'm not sure how they managed to make the clear winner have no spotlight, even when she wins. To show you the difference, while Mikasa gets 5 full sentences, Blake gets 3 very short interactions. And while I do still like the death, it doesn't feel climactic at all. As I said, the lack of spotlight for Blake is a big reason why. Next. Uh, it's the animation. 
It is really good throughout the whole thing but it's got a massive problem. The frame rate. I'm not sure what the fuck this is but I don't like it. It's not like All Might vs. Might Guy where it's so good that I can brush past it. I genuinely can't stand how some moments feel like they're running on a Nintendo 3DS. It's hard to ignore it and it's frustrating. The frame rate also makes a lot of this look kinda jank. A big example comes from when Mikasa stabs the ice plate thing. Also, the first minute is really fucking boring. Mikasa is out of character here and screams at Blake which is stupid. Blake pulls her in, Mikasa farts away and Blake swings and lands a very weak kick that had literally no impact when I watched it. Basically everything in the preview was a misery to watch. If Lex vs Doom didn't exist, I would call this my least favorite preview of the season easily. I'm also disappointed that there was no titan involved in the animation. Don't try and argue that the shadow was a titan and that means that they were involved cause it was a fucking shadow that did nothing. I will, admit that it's a cool shot but that isn't enough to fix my disappointment. I do understand why there wasn't a visible titan cause that would have been really hard to animate and cost a lot, but it's still annoying. There is way too much potential here and it sucks. I don't have a clue how I didn't care about this match and was still disappointed. Alright, I'm tired of bitching about this episode. Let's go to the conclusion. Mikasa had guts, but Blake's speed, versatility, and sick anime combo weapon gave her the edge. So what did I think of this episode? I clearly had a lot to say in regards to the negatives, but I found a lot amazing too. The frame rate was shit, but I really liked the death. The analysis weren't funny but were in-depth and covered what was needed. The sound design might have been really bad at some points but the track was fucking spectacular. There's a lot to say here, but as it stands, it's a 6 out of 10. This isn't a low 6 out of 10 though. It's closer to 7 than a 5. It's actually better than Shadow vs Ryoko. Oh, I'm actually gonna quickly show you my current scores for the episode cause they've all changed drastically. Yoda vs Mickey was a 7 out of 10 but it's now a 9.5 out of 10. Shadow vs Ryoko was a 9 out of 10 but it's now a 6 out of 10. Lex vs Doom was 4 out of 10 but is now a 3 out of 10. And Haihaki vs Geese is still the same 8.5 out of 10. Alright, now the next time which made me both really hyped and really annoyed. Poe vs Iron Fist is a great match and has some really interesting debate to it. And it finally brings in animated movie characters. But why does it have to happen now? It feels impossible to get more than two days away from Marvel or DC. I can brush it aside though cause the debate here is incredible. I'm not too big on either of these guys but I do know that my friends are really freaking hyped. I know why. This is ridiculously close in terms of debate and has some amazing arguments. I have no idea what they are but I'm sure that everyone else will. I'm desperately siding with Poe here but I'll be really sad if I and Fist won. Alright, that's all for this. Hope you enjoyed the video and have a good day.